And now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Dickens. Well, we're starting off with another beautiful day out there. 74 degrees, beautiful summer day. Definitely feel summer-like with the 90s once again looming today. If you like the heat, then uh, you're going to enjoy this forecast, at least for the next couple days. 74 feel like temperature with that south-southeast wind. We're watching this system, this boundary that has set up here, and it's going to be a focal point for some storm chances, especially tomorrow. For today, though, uh, the activity is going to remain to the north here. So uh, places like Joe Davies County, Jackson County, you have the potential to see a spotty shower or two. So most of us are going to say mo stay mostly sunny, but along in the uh, north, I'd say the Highway 30, Highway 20 corridor, that's where we could see a few storms spark off. There we go, about you know, 7, 8 o'clock. We'll see those move through. And again, more focus to the north, to the south, we should stay dry. Any evening plans tonight besides uh, the warm temperatures, you're going to be in great shape. Tomorrow morning, though, I'll be watching this line because it could hold itself together and give our northern counties maybe the potential for one or two stronger storms, not necessarily anything severe. Highway 30 to the north, you'll have a better chance of seeing the morning activity. To the south, looks like we'll stay dry. That's going to really warm things up. We, I think we'll see a little bit of a split in temperatures. Mid to upper 90s possible to the south. Uh, we'll, we'll see closer to the mm, probably uh, low to mid 90s to the north, so not much difference, but... This can be this right here that uh, we have to watch. 7 o'clock, timing-wise, a little rough on this, but it uh, looks like this nasty line of storms will move through. You can see we already got that Boeing on here that uh, exact tracks picking up on. This will be a big damaging wind threat that moves through. It looks like most of the TV6 viewing area is going to get into this. So definitely something to stay weather aware tomorrow if you're going to have any uh, or be outside doing anything. That's uh, going to be something we want to watch because it does look like it'll be a, a pretty significant line that moves through. Not only with the potential for those uh, damaging winds, maybe a spin up tornado, but look at this heavy rainfall. Maybe pockets of three inches plus. It, these are storms are very efficient rain producers, so something that we will definitely have to watch there as well as flash flooding is a concern as well. There's those hazards. Really 3 p.m. to midnight's the time frame. We're also going to throw excessive heat potential uh, as one of the hazards that we'll be tracking into the low 90s today, uh, but not dropping much. It'll be upper 70s as you wake up on Saturday morning, heading for the mid to low 90s for most. A little cooler to the north, though, as that uh, cloud cover will stick around with us. As we showed here, uh, really tomorrow is going to be the focus of the higher heat as it looks like we might approach the triple digit mark on those feel like temperatures. 7 day forecast again first alert day in place for your afternoon tomorrow. Once we get to sunny a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm but temperatures much more on par with average for this time of year mid 80s heading back into the upper 90s by the time we get to Tuesday. There will be plenty of high flying action to